Hello, in this video we are going to solve this interesting exponential equation. We have 3 to the power of m minus 2 to the power of m equals to 65. And we also have here that m is an integer. So right now, what we are going to do is to find the value of m that is going to satisfy this equation. So what we are going to do is we have 3 to the power of m minus 2 to the power of m and this is equals to 65. So we can as well write this as 3 to the power of m and this is to the power of 1. And we have this 2 to the power of m and this is all to the power of what 1. So, the next thing we are going to do is, we can as well replace this one we have here by writing 2 divided by 2, which is 1, or you can as well use 3 divided by 3, which is 1, or you can use 4 divided by 4, which is 1. But in this particular context, we are going to make use of 2 divided by 2, which is 1. So we are going to have it as 3 to the power of m all to the power of 2 divided by 2 minus 2 to the power of m all to the power of 2 divided by 2 and this is equals to 65. Now the next thing we are going to do is we can as well factor out this denominator we have here, we, here we have 1 over 2. This is 2 times 1 over 2, so we can factor that out. We can have it as 3 to the power of m divided by 2. Then we have everything here multiplying 2. Then we do the same thing here, we have 2 to the power of m divided by 2, and we have it multiplying 2, and this is equals to 65. Now, this, what we have done here is based on this identity. If you have a to the power of n or to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of n times what m. So the next thing we are going to do is we can actually replace this 3 to the power of m over 2 and 2 to the power of m over 2 by some variable we can say let x be equals to 3 to the power of m over 2 and we have y equals to 2 to the power of m over 2. By doing it this way, it's going to be a bit shorter solving the equation. So we are going to have x squared minus y squared equals to 65. So this becomes difference of two squares because we have power 2 here, we have power 2 here and Going by the formula for difference of two squares, we are going to have x plus y times x minus y, and this is equals to 65. Now, the next thing we are going to do is we are going to split the 65 into two parts, in which this is addition, this is plus, in which one part will be bigger than the other part because this addition here will be bigger than where we have the subtraction here. So we are going to divide this 65 into two parts and we are going to make use of 13 times what 5 because this 13 here will actually equate x plus y because it is actually the bigger number. y x minus y we are going to equate it with what 5. So what we are going to have is we are going to have x plus y equals to 13 and we have x minus y equals to what? 5. The next thing is for us to solve and find the value of x. So we can decide to add these two equations because the coefficient here is 1 and the coefficient of x here is 1. So if you add these two equations, you are going to have 2x and positive y plus minus y, you are going to have plus 0 and this is equals to 18. So from here, you are going to have 2x equals to what? 18. And if you divide both sides of this equation by 2, you are going to have 
x is equal to what? 9. Now, from this equation, you can as well make use of the second equation, but let, let's concentrate on the first equation. You have x plus y equals to 13. From here, our value of x is 9. We have 9 plus y equals to what? 13. So for you to solve for y here, you are going to have y equals to 13 minus 9, which is equals to what? 4. So x equals to 9 and y equals to what? 4. But recall the problem we were asked to solve for what? We were asked to solve for m, the value of m. Now, and also recall the conditions that we add here. What we had here, we had, we had x equals to 3 to the power of m over 2 and y equals to 2 to the power of m over 2. So let's get back to what we have here and instead of x here, we are going to have, let me write recall, recall that x is equals to, we had x to be 3 to the power of m over 2. And from here, we are going to have, instead of x here, we are going to insert 9. 9 equals to 3 to the power of m over 2. So we can actually make the basis to be equal by having 3 to the power of 2, which is 9. And this is equal to 3 to the power of m over 2. So since the bases are the same, we can compare the exponents and we have 2 by comparing this exponent is equal to m over 2. And from here we have m is equal to by cross multiplying 4. That is 2 times 2. Now you can as well find the value of m using y as well. Recall that we had also we had y is equals to 2 to the power of m over 2. And from what we have solved, we have y equals to 4. So we have 4 is equals to 2 to the power of m over 2. And we can have, have it as 2 to the power of 2 equals to 2 to the power of m over 2. So from here, the bases are the same. We compare the exponents. And when once we do that, we are going to have 2 is equals to m over 2. And if you cross multiply, you have m is equals to what? 4. So in either case, you have m is equals to what? 4. So that is the value of m that will satisfy this particular equation. So that is the value of m that will satisfy this particular equation. So we have m is equals to what? 4. Now we can as well check if what we have solved is correct. So let's make a space to check if what we have solved is correct. Now recall the problem we had 3 to the power of m minus 2 to the power of m is equal to what? 65. So if m is equal to 4, we are going to have 3 to the power of 4 minus 2 to the power of 4. And this is like writing. This is equals to 81 minus what? 16. And this is equals to what? 65. So that shows that m equals to 4 has actually satisfied this equation. And that is it for the video. Thank you and goodbye.